money. Money. Freddie Mac and Affordable Rental Homes. Finance company Freddie Mac plans to provide tens of millions of dollars in financing or loan guarantees to smaller firms that buy single-family homes and operate them as what is considered affordable housing rentals. When the government-controlled mortgage financing giant Fannie Mae agreed this year to guarantee a $1 billion financing deal for one of the biggest financially equity-backed landlords in the United States, the move prompted an outcry. Housing advocates and legislators question why the landlord, Invitation Homes, which is controlled by Blackstone Group, needed such low-cost financing, especially on the eve and an initial public offering through which Innovation Homes raised $1.7 billion in net proceeds. Now Freddie Mac, a rival government-controlled mortgage finance company, is gearing up for its own financing deal. But it is targeting a much different slice of the single-family home real estate market. Freddie Mac wants to provide tens of millions of dollars in financing to mid-sized landlords, not to the giants like Invitation Homes, which operate nearly 50,000 rental homes in 13 markets. In all, Freddie Mac could provide as much as $1 billion in financing or loan guaranteed to smaller firms that buy single-family homes and operate them as what is considered affordable housing rentals, a company officially said in an interview. Some nonprofit housing groups might also be eligible for the financing. It is first and foremost affordable, said the official Dave Leopold, a Freddie Mac vice president for a targeted affordable sales and investments. The size of the sponsor is less important than affordability, he said. Freddie Mac is hashing out the details, but Leopold said the company hoped to announce the first deal within 90 days. The Federal Housing Finance Agency, which regulates Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae, has approved the financing efforts on a trial basis. The agency view on the single-family rental market has changed since 2012 when it bulked at the Freddie Mac plan to provide financing to some Buyers of foreclosed homes being of concern that low-cost loans would hurt banks and might also encourage home flipping. Still, any specific Freddie Mac transaction would need the agency's approval, just as Fannie Mae's deal with the Invitation Homes did. The approach being taken by Freddie Mac is part of a response to the criticism of Fannie Mae's deal to provide guaranteed to investors in a 10-year, $1 billion loan that Wells Fargo provided to Invitation Homes and will securitize. The loan is backed by about 7000 and rental homes. But the strategy also stems from growing consensus among housing policymakers and landlords that both Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae should play roles in providing finance to single-family home operators. The market has grown since the collapse of the housing prices a dec- decade ago, touched off by the worst financial crisis since the Great Dep- Depression, and led to more than 6 million completed foreclosures. There are now about 17 million homes being rented, up from the 11 million in 2007, and about 300,000 of those rental properties are operated by Invitation Homes and other big Wall Street-backed firms that sprouted up after the crisis like American Homes for Rent, Colony Stanford Homes, and Platinum Partners. The vast majority of rental and managed by mom and pop operators who own a small number of homes. And Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have long provided financing to small investors. But financing has been hard to come by for nonprofit housing groups and minimized investor landlords who have had the re- to rely on mainly a private equity backed firms for financing. After the financial crisis, most banks have tended to avoid lending to smaller landlords out of concern that such firms have little operating histories that the house posted in the collateral are not sufficient to secure the loans. But the hope is that with the loan guarantees from the government-controlled mortgage finance companies, more traditional lenders may be willing to venture into that part of the market. Freddie seems to want to distinguish itself from Fannie. The push into single-family housing by Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae comes out of a time of debate over the future of the two companies, which the federal government bailed out in 2008 and placed in a government conservatorship at the height of the crisis. The main mission of both is to maintain the viability of the 30-year fixed-rate mortgage by ensuring such loans against default and then packaging them into mortgage-backed securities. There is a huge hole in the middle market that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac could fill. 
And that's my money chat for you. Coming up next on the Money Hour, five trends that will shape the real estate market in 2017 and 2018 by Denise Lonis with the Lonis Group. Right here at 1150 AM KKNW after this short break.